Hey guys, welcome back to Midwest Long Range. Today we're going to talk tripods, so stick with me. We're going to get into this. All right guys, so today we've got the Sunway Photo T3240CS hunting series carbon fiber tripod. It, this one has the integrated ball head. See if you guys can see what we're talking about here. I am gonna have additional footage rolled up into this, but this thing is super cool. Now, the reason I say that is because I can't afford stuff like really right stuff, right? So I've used one of these before with the integral ball head with the cam lever and uh, it was really right stuff. I, I enjoyed it, loved the product, but I'm not spending 13 to 1500, whatever they cost on a tripod. I don't have that budget, but this thing goes on the Sunway Photo store or on Amazon for like 539 bucks with all of it. It also has a case, spike feet, tools, whatever. So that's a pretty good deal to me for a hunting tripod, or I can use this for PRS matches, stuff like that. Now, this one's a little shorter. I got this one mainly for hunting and for actually using with a rifle. So it's not as tall as like the one I use for my binos and what have you. Now they make other tripods that go up much taller. This is just the one I picked, okay guys? So let's jump into the details on this thing and talk about the specs. Let's talk about the ball head and all the kind of good stuff. All right, so I went ahead and mounted up one of our PRS NRL style precision rimfire rifles. This one is the CZ457 full open class build. So this is gonna be a bit heavier than like your standard whitetail hunting rifle. This is probably coming in somewhere around the 15 pound mark if I had to guess maybe just shy 13 to 15 pounds so it might be more indicative of like a mountain style rifle something a little heavier bigger caliber the sunway photo hunting tripod has an integrated ball head with the cam lever on it so with this you get a lower center of gravity and i can run this with one hand and manipulate the rifle as i'll show you here in a bit this one has the 32 millimeter carbon fiber legs has a low setting where I could basically shoot prone with this thing. And then a has a maximum height of about 57 inches. Now, this is quite a bit shorter than some of the taller tripods that I use in PRS, especially when using them for glassing. We stand and go through our binos a lot. This one I got mainly for a hunting situation, varmint hunting, predator hunting, prairie dog, etc. I could use this for any of those applications as well as in a PRS or NRL style match. The tripod comes with a carrying case as shown here. Also comes with a set of spike feet and tools and a user's manual. Not terribly overloaded, but when you get this thing straight out of the bag, you don't really need anything else to go with it. If the ball head's already there, the ARCA clamp's there, it's ready to rock and roll. So we're going to take it over here. We're going to shoot a few targets. I'm going to shoot some. I got my boy Wyatt with me. He's going to shoot a few as well. So let's jump on it. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead. We're going to demonstrate this a little bit. I am losing the light here, but this is more like hunting to me because uh, never fails what you're after usually doesn't come out till either right at dawn or right at dusk. So when else better to actually try the tripod out, okay? So, got some Ely match loaded up. The way this setup runs, it has a cam lever right here where my hand is. I can simply open that up with, the, with my thumb and I have 35 degrees of tilt forwards and backwards, side to side, and rotation. Now, I can find and acquire my target, just my parallax, here we go, 
bullseye. Oh, and the target went to leaning on me. Nice. Now, say we need to transition. Maybe we see a different target come out. Oh, we're going to move. All right, there we go. Real quick with a thumb. Oh, got that one too. It's that fast. One thing I will show you, this is all carbon fiber. So, not real hard to move this thing around. If I needed to transition, move to another spot, bam, back in it, open my ball head back up. Got a target stood way up in the air. Oh, and we knocked it back down. There we go. So, I think this thing's great for the price point. It's working really well. All the features, up, down, I really like it. It's hard to beat a good solid tripod like this, especially for the money with the integrated ball head specifically designed for hunting applications. <clears throat> Let's uh, take a few more shots. I'm gonna get my son up here too. That way we can show how we transition down to a lower height for different height shooters. We're gonna first go with our screw legs here. If you can't see what I'm doing, simply loosen those up. Let it kind of work its way down. Quiet, come on over here, bud. All right, we're gonna have to go quite a ways. There we go. All right, we've got the rifle adjusted to Wyatt's height. He's on target. He's gonna take a couple of shots. Go for it. Good shot. That's low light. The Element Titan is actually still pretty bright. We've got it all the way up on 18 power, and he's just going through it like it ain't no problem. My general review of the Sunway Photo hunting tripod with integrated ball head. It also has uh, some provisions for the magic arms just so I don't forget but overall I really like this product it fits a budget that I haven't seen a ton of but it also stands up it's stout it's lightweight does everything I need it to do it's gonna work great come coyote season which we probably should be getting toward getting on top of here pretty quick before deer season gets us may even use it for that but guys I really appreciate you watching. Stay safe. Keep shooting. We'll see you next time right here on Midwest Long Range.